Hi Libra, welcome to your singles reading for April. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you are new or returning, welcome and thank you. So Libra, I decided to bring the singles reading back. Um, if you're familiar with my channel, I did do them the end of last year, I think into the beginning of the year. Um, I did have a poll on my community section I asked viewers to go participate in where I asked what readings you would like to see on the channel. And this reading, the singles reading, and the spirit messages was part of one of the selections that was most voted for. So I'm bringing back the spirit messages. They have all been um, out and uploaded for April. So they're all out and now the singles is coming back. So leave me some feedback, how you like these, some comments. We'll see how it goes. So I'm going to do them for a while. And if they work out, then I'll probably keep them and uh, see what we get for you here, uh, Libra. So this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, male or female watching, doesn't really matter. And I can pick up on past, present, or future energy. So if you feel like this is a connection from the past, that could happen. Um, so I would say just kind of take it how it resonates for you. This is intended for somebody who wants to know, you know, is new love coming towards me? Who's coming towards me? May not have any connections of any kind. If you're new to the channel and you, you're single, but you do have a connection with somebody, in some way, shape, or form, I do offer, I do have a love connection reading I do monthly, and those are all out for April, so feel free to go watch those also. There are five readings you would get monthly if you're new and you want to check out my channel before you subscribe. If you would like to, uh, you get five readings. You get a general, a love, a singles, a spirit messages, and a bonus where we take a look at a little bit of life, love, advice. So feel free, and if you do like what you see, you know you're welcome to like, share, subscribe, comment, hit the bell. You won't miss out. And if you do, thank you. So Libra, hope everybody's doing well and staying safe during this time. So obviously there probably isn't any dating going on. It won't be till this whole thing passes. So um, obviously this would be in the future. Um, let's see what we get for you. So most of my timelines have been the end of summer, into fall, winter, even into the beginning of next year. So uh, doesn't mean you may not date, you know, once all this passes, you may not date other people. I mean, that is possible, but this could be a very significant um, connection or relationship in the future. All right, so Libra. So I'm going to do Libra here is I'm going to get their energy. What kind of energy are they in? Now, this could be circumstances around them, something they're going through, or just energy in general. And then we'll get a spirit energy for them. What is their spirit like? And then love energy, what is their love energy like at this time? We'll clarify that energy with the tarot. This is the tarot of sexual magic, so only over 18. Most people are familiar with this deck, so we'll look at their energy, why they're in this energy, and then where and how you may meet this person, possible time frame of when, and then what kind of connection it could be between the two of you. So, Libra. Libra, Libra, single spirit, please. Thank you so much. Incoming person, new love for Libra singles, please. Thank you. What is the energy of this incoming person, new love, who's coming, coming towards Libra? Energy of this person coming towards Libra. Energy, please. Thank you so much for Libra. For Libra. Energy for Libra. Get one card, please. Thank you so much. Probably just gonna pick one. All right, I'm feeling that one. All right, what do we have? Well, we have the Angel of Strength. So this could be Leo energy. We have five there, which five is about change. Fifty is five. Somebody very strong, will, determined, passionate, go-getter kind of energy. They have a lot of willpower, and. Um, Courage and determination, endurance. They could be very, very strong. They could be strongly opinionated, strong-willed also. So we'll see. We'll see here. They could also, also be, you know, if they're male or female, just physically strong also, physically fit. All right, so... <clears throat> Let's see what their spirit energy is like. What is their spirit energy like? What is their spirit energy like? Please, thank you so much. For Libra singles, new love, who's coming towards them, 
What is their spirit energy like? Oh, that's way too many. Spirit, please. Thank you so much. All right, let's take that one. Soul solitude. Your soul needs attention. There are moments when it's important to get away, not just from the noise of the outside world, but to find a place where your soul can experience peace and quiet, a place for soul solitude. This is a time to pause, a time to reflect, a time for you. So, <clears throat> sorry. So this person, though they're very strong, determined, you know, willpower, endurance kind of energy, uh, I mean, this could be spirit telling them that they need to slow down. It takes some time for them. Maybe it's somebody that doesn't take a lot of time for themselves. Like they never slow down. They never take a break. They're always on the go. It could be somebody who's very strong willed and just, you know, think they can just always go on the go and, you know, go, go, go. So we'll see. But I think this is spirit telling them they need to slow down and take some time for themselves. So I feel like somebody very, very feeling like very energetic and fiery and passionate and just go 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 like all the time they could have a little nervous energy also fidgety kind of energy all right so let's see what their love energy is like for you libra singles libra singles new love who's coming towards them what is their love energy like spirit please thank you so much okay that one. Remembrance, resurfacing of past feelings and emotions. We have 21 here, which is three, which can be, be can be about reuniting, rejoicing, teamwork, collaboration kind of energy. I feel like this person, instead of dealing with feelings, whether they're past, present, or future, they just stay busy like all the time. Like they don't want to take time to pause because, or take time for them because then they would have to deal with things maybe they don't want to deal with. It could be especially things of the past. Maybe they never really dealt with their past feelings and emotions. Hmm. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Because it's saying here, your soul needs attention with an exclamation point. So this person, I feel like, and you see a lot of dark, shadowy energy uh, on them. Like they have a lot of tattoos. So I feel like uh, they never really conquered their demons or did their shadow work. I feel like somebody that just kind of uh, pushes things deep down within and doesn't deal and just kind of... No, I'm strong. I don't have to show feelings, emotions, you know, you know, strong people don't cry or, you know, whatever. So they may stay busy just so uh, on purpose, like busily on purpose. So I don't know. Let's see. Why is this person in this energy for Libra? So this is their love energy. So, you know, maybe, you know, things happened with them in the past with love relationships and they never really dealt with the feelings, the emotions um, that came with that energy. So it may be somebody who's not really like emotion, over emotional or uh, anything like that. So they may not even express really how they feel or anything like that too well what do we have here the nine of wands yeah somebody who was kind of on guard defensive but they keep plugging along plugging along all right so what else that's that fiery passionate energy eight of cups so yeah instead of dealing with emotions and feelings you just kind of walk away from it like walk away from Instead of dealing with something, I feel like they just walk away and just like, oh, well, and just continue, continue on with their day, you know. I don't think they deal. <laughs> All right, so what else? The Libra. So the Knight of Swords. So this is someone, so now we have Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. So they could be an air sign also. So Knight of Swords is a very fast-paced action 
I feel like this person kind of runs. Like, they just turn and they run. Like, they don't want to deal with anything, I feel. And they're very defensive on guard. All right, so it's not really a good energy, but let's see. <clears throat> let's get a couple more for their energy here for Libra. So now we have the Six of Wands. So this could be success, victory, a lot of... Um, attention or you know kind of a lot of egocentric kind of energy and then we have the ten of swords you know painful hurtful ending here uh just a lot of pain i feel like you know if something comes to an end or whatever they just kind of rush into the next thing that gives them attention in some way So I'm not really getting a good energy here. I'm getting someone who's defensive on guard. They just go, go, go all the time. They don't deal with what they need to deal with emotionally, anything like that. They may not express themselves emotionally too well. Um, and I think they may rush in as fast as they, you know, rush out as fast as they rush in. And if something comes to an end here, I feel like they probably, you know, just leave and go where else, wherever else they can get attention, I feel, with the Six of Wands kind of energy. Yikes, Libra. All right. So I do have air here, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Oh, okay. So let's see. <clears throat> let's, let's see what's going to happen here. Like where and how you may meet this person. So we have the Six of Swords. Energy. We have justice. Could be something pertaining to some kind of legal matters here, or legal advice, or counseling, or something like that. Or, um, professional, somewhere where you may go get professional advice, or counseling, or legal, something legal with the legal matters. Or something about paperwork, maybe even taxes or something like that. Um, I don't know. Let's see. Let's get a few more. So we have the Seven of Swords energy. And we have the Nine of Pentacle energy. So... Could even be a financial advisor. Maybe you go somewhere to get financial advice. So we have a lot of pentacle energy here. I do see some outdoor energy. Um, some of you, you can meet them outdoors somewhere at a park or near water. Some of you, I feel like something either legal matters or in the justice department field or law enforcement field or something like that. <clears throat> they could be a lawyer or work, work in the law enforcement or like a legal counselor or something like that or a financial advisor or something or work in the medical field. And that's how you meet them somehow. So any of those scenarios, however that makes sense for you, kind of broad and vague, but... Uh, that's what I see. Some of you actually may have to go for a procedure or something like that. Um, and that's how you meet them. Maybe they they work in the um, hospital or something like that. Of course, this wouldn't be till after this whole thing going on right now. But. All right. So let's see like a time frame, a time frame for you, Libra. Libra, time frame for Libra, singles, new love, who's coming towards them. So we have the Hierophant. We have the Four of Pentacles, which is fall. The Hierophant is Taurus, so that's, you know, that just went by. Actually, no, Taurus. Taurus is coming up, but it wouldn't be... Um, time frame because of the current situations in the world so it could even be next year for some of you or it could be in the fall here one more 
Yeah, we have Aquarius season here. So some of you may not be till the fall until like next year, actually. Yeah, I feel like this is someone where, you know, okay, this didn't work out or whatever. Okay, I'm just going to move on to the next next person or next thing where, you know, I get the attention, you know, just move on to the next thing here. Kind of like a fool's energy here. Oh, Libra. So let's see what kind of connection this will be. What kind of connection will this be for Libra? If you connect with this person in some way, I mean, they don't look like they would uh, be too affectionate or emotionally, you know, there. But, I don't know, let's see. So we have the Queen of Pentacles. Now we have uh, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Let's see, we have... Uh, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. So I do see stability and abundance, growth, expansion here with the Queen. Three of Cups. So, you no, know, the Three of Cups can be about rejoicing, celebrating, reuniting, coming together. But the Three of Cups can also be, you know, third party. And we have the Three of Wands. So we got two threes here. Three wants about patiently waiting for your ship to come in. So this person may have other people and they may see you as very stable, secure, grounded. You know, you have your money, you make your pentacles and they may come in with, you know, they may have show you some affection or something like that and passion and you may kind of fall for it here. But I do see, yeah, death here. So... I think you may fall for it, but then realize, okay, I think they may have other people, you know, or if something happens between the two of you, they might just go elsewhere where they get uh, the attention that they want. So you may just end up ending it here. Libra. Five of pentacles. Yeah, feeling neglected, lonely, left out in the cold. So they may get what they want and then, you know, move on or, you know, keep you in a third party situation and you may not even know it, but you're like, you know, why do I feel abandoned, lonely, left out in the cold all the time? Why aren't they always here? Why don't they answer the phone? You know, why don't they come when they say they're going to come kind of energy? Wow. Yeah. Lovers. So yeah, they may have many lovers here. You see two people there. Somebody who I feel is egocentric player. Attention getting... Let's see what's on the bottom of the deck here. Temperance. So this is about healing, balance, patience. But here's a brand new beginning in love. With the Ace of Cups. And then we have the Hermit. So I think you're going to feel like, <clears throat> maybe you may feel like you can heal them or bring them, you know, maybe be very patient with them. Maybe try to bring them balance, you know, wanting this new beginning in love. But then... Someone goes into hermit mode and it could be them retreating because they have other people too. So you're just an option to them. And then also causes you to go in and go into reflection mode. Because now we have the King of Swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius again. So they can be a little, you know, he's with this woman here, but then there's a woman in the background. So you may actually may see them with somebody else and then confront them and they may start to get a little cold towards you. Emperor, they could own their own business also. Someone's very controlling also. So I feel like somebody who can be very controlling and very kind of cold once you confront them. If you see them with somebody else, especially here, there's two people in the background also. You know, you thought, okay, you know, this is divinely guided energy coming in, a brand new beginning in love. But little did you know, there's all this other energy and... Uh, having to heal from that energy. So I think this person, I think they have a lot of issues. Libra, you may not want to get, may seem too good to be true. It may seem like, you know, a connection. And then it goes kind of south fast. So be careful. So like I said, we did have air, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. And Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. 
male, female. So those are the other signs that I see. So either earth or ear. Here. And, yep. Okay, Libra. Well, best of luck to you. Sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel, is to always, always shine your light.